start for the Lake Lincoln team? Oh, they're a really good team. They're a really good overall team. You know, I had a really good point guard, Xavier Simpson. It's kind of a head of state for their team. It makes a lot of things go for them. Uh, they can shoot the ball. Um, well coached team. Uh, and kind of like you said, they're just like us. You know, they kind of had some adversity hit, but uh, it's, it's the big team. You never know what will happen. Um, and it's a really big game. It's going to be really competitive. It'll be a really good game. Let's see that to you when you look at Ed Simpson on tape. When you think about going up against a guy like that at the same time. I've been playing against him since I was in like third grade. I've been playing against him for a very, very long time. Um, a really cool, you know, we talk on uh, social media and things like that. But he's a really good point guard. Like I said, he's the head of the snake. He makes a lot of things go for them, whether it's scoring, getting everybody else involved. Um, he has a lot of assists. Like, um, he gets everybody involved. He's just a really good point guard. I'm just ready to compete. And just go up against him, you know, try to win. Can you elaborate a little more on that backstory? How obviously Midwest guys, but yeah. like, when, when did you first meet him? And, and um, like I said, I want to say like third grade, he played with Team Lima, and I played with my A team. And we just always played against each other from there, whether it was the Nationals, just regular Midwest tournaments that we played in against each other. Um, and just kind of continue on to, you know, AU, EYBL circuit and things like that. We played against each other. Um, I want to say we talk like every day or anything like that, but you know, we stay in contact when we see different videos or different posts on Instagram, you know, we'll comment on each other's posts or anything like that, but like nothing too crazy. CJ, how much does uh, the last time you played against Michigan? Um, honestly, I kind of forgot about it after that year. I didn't play. Um, then playing this year, I kind of obviously now that you said it, feel some type of way knowing that I did play against them and lose to go to the uh, final four. So it obviously is a type of feeling. So it's not like anything I can revenge or anything. I'm just ready to go out there and play and try to win. Um, yeah, I kind of forgot about it after not playing that whole year and then just worried about this season. So sorry. Bro. <laughs> um, what what makes their their off screen game so difficult to defend? Things that you're Uh, kind of like you said, he can just make a lot of passes that you don't think are there. You know, he just executes their offense really well. And then they have shooters on the perimeter as well. They have a really good big and testy finish around the rim. He can also, you know, shoot, catch and shoot, things like that. So that's what kind of makes their team pretty difficult to guard, which I think we can do. We just got to make people make shots and make it as tough as we can. When you look back at your performance Saturday on the uh, did you play as well as the stat line says you played? Uh, throughout the game, I felt like I had a really solid game after watching film in most definitely some areas I got to improve on defensively, you know, being aware off the ball and, you know, um, being there on the catch with shooters and things like that. Um, and just staying more engaged on defense. I think those are things I have to improve in, um, especially having to play more minutes than usual. Um, and just staying engaged throughout the game. But I feel like offensively, I made the right plays. I took the right shots that I needed to. I feel like I did the right things for my teammates and, you know, for us to win. This is a little off the beat now, but since you transferred off under, you have a unique perspective on this. The Big Ten's proposed a rule that everybody in every sport would get one transfer free, no waiver. So you could, you could transfer and play right away, one time in your career. Mm -hmm. um, I ask you to look at your crystal ball and tell me how you think that would impact college. Because I sense a lot of guys who come in and have expectations get frustrated in that waiver year. You have this that inactive year that you you endured is a lot of times I would assume maybe I'm right or wrong what holds them where they are. All right, so you said they can transfer into the Big Ten and be able to play. Right away. Um, One time in their career. I feel like that'll change a lot. I mean, the Big Ten is a really good conference. A lot of great teams. So I feel like you know if you're in a situation where you're not happy at your at the school that you're at, you transfer to the Big Ten able to play. I feel like that'll make it a lot easier for people that are not happy, you know, want to be in the Big Ten in a good conference, playing with good teams. Because um, it is kind of a frustration and a second thought, you know, when you're transferring to sit out a whole year, it's just something that kind of weighs you back. Do you really want to leave? Do you really want to sit out? You know, it's your junior year, going to your senior year, do you want to waste that year? And things like that. So I feel like it'll kind of make it easier for a lot of people that are not happy, you know, want to come to a great conference and play. I'm just saying, being ourselves, just getting back to our ways. The ball wasn't sticking, like you said. We was able to make shots. Um, 
you know, Caleb had a really good game, you know, inside out. That's the way we've been trying to play, and that's what we did to execute. And I feel like that's when we play our best basketball. So, I mean, that's just kind of the best thing I've seen. I just kind of want to continue that, you know, kind of emphasize that as one of the leaders of the team. Just kind of keep going from there and build it from there. Uh, it means a lot, you know, for people to step up in that way. I think Luther also had three or four assists as well. You know, Dwayne was at the point some too, had a great, uh, a great few reads that he had. Um, so it just kind of shows that people can step up, and that's what we have to do right now in the absence of DJ, like you said. Uh, it just means a lot for us. I mean, people got to step up, so that's what we have to do right now. Talking about Dre, he's kind of guys over defense. Mm -hmm. It means a lot of just spacing the floor out, especially when we got people off the bench as well coming in, being able to make shots as well. Um, it just makes it easier on our offense, whether it's penetrating, getting layups, or getting post touches to Caleb's because they got to guard him. I mean, you can't leave shooters. I mean, if they're going to make shots, you're not going to leave them. So I just feel like that just helps us, you know, space the floor and be able to create other ways. You guys are halfway through the Big Ten. I just wonder what you think. What, what's this team's biggest positive right now? What do you think is this team's biggest negative right now? Um, today, that's the biggest positive going into today in practice, you know, just getting ready for the next game. Just trying to get a win. I mean, that's all you can do is just a grind. Um, you just gotta win. You just gotta do what you have to do. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. I wonder if, when you're at a Big Ten arena, do you notice the announcers? Do you notice the announcers here? Like, I know you're dialed in on the game, but do you ever hear that stuff? Do players feed off of how an announcer is yelling, is calling a game? Um, not really. You're so locked into the game and with your teammates and coaches staff, you don't really hear or feel anything else. You just kind of go with the flow of the game, you know, you got to stick together because, I mean, that's five and ones on the court plan, so you just kind of got to be worried about that. Uh, so you don't want to let anything kind of distract you in any other way, so you just got to kind of be locked in. say awareness, um, you know, I don't think we're the best. We haven't defended the three as best as we had in the beginning of the season in non-conference. So I feel like that's one of the things that we have to improve on is be able to make people take tough shots from three, be able to contest shots and things like that. Um, so I would just say awareness, you know, whether it's ball watching and things like that, you know, just be knowing who you're guarding, knowing where you're at on the floor and um, defense or rebound. I feel like those are two biggest things that we're getting better at. Just continue to build off that. What's different your three point defense right now? Is that showing Like I said, just ball watching, whether we're over helping or, you know, second chance rebounds and people get open shots and transition and just contesting shots. I just feel like those are the things that we got to key in on, just emphasize, you know, just make sure we're there contesting and try to make it as tough as possible when everybody shots on the three. How hard is that, CJ, when it does seem like you guys are, are pretty aggressive about, one, trying to keep the ball out of the paint and also kind of digging it out once it gets in there. Obviously, you're kind of running back and forth with the paint and yeah. kind of close out quickly, which just seems like be really difficult to do. Like, for, for the most part, do you feel like you guys are, are doing what you want to do in, in terms of those situations when you are maybe caught inside and they can't close out quite quickly? Uh, I just feel like that just kind of shows like how hard the Big Ten is when you got to do so much, whether it's helping in the gap, being able to contest, or being able to double team and recover on the swing, or getting back in transition fast enough. So that just kind of goes to show like how hard the Big Ten is and how many people are lead through from three and in the post and how much that you do have to do. Um, so I just feel like us as a team, it's just about effort, you know what I'm saying, just being able to do the extra, that's what we have to do. We just gotta make it as tough as possible and just have to do more. So I just feel like that's just what it is. Appreciate y'all.